Did you know what, Dr. Lara? Did you know that the most common way that we as veterinarians determine whether or not a patient is pregnant is typically by doing x-rays. So usually the reason that we'll do x-rays is because it's very easy for us to figure out whether or not the patients are pregnant because we will shoot x-rays about 42 to 45 days after the patients become pregnant. Why? We do it because that's the amount of time that it takes typically for the calcium to build up in the bones enough for them to show up on the x-rays. Now, the other reason that we do the x-rays is because we can actually get a pretty decent idea of how many puppies there are. And the reason that this is so important is because if the mother is going through labor and then we don't know how many puppies there are, and God forbid she has what's called dystocia, where she has a problem delivering one of the babies, and you think, oh, she only has two babies, when in actuality she has three and there's one stuck inside and something's going wrong, you don't know because we haven't done the x-rays to know how many there are and to make sure that they all come out. Now, there are some other things that we can do. You could collect a swab from the vulva, but you got to stick a, a thingy in the vulva to make sure that you're not getting any other cells and contaminating and then having that interpreted to see where they are in their hormonal stage. You could do some hormone testing to get an idea as well um, if they're pregnant. That being said, the most simple, straightforward, if you have a patient that is accidentally pregnant, which is usually the case, is to go ahead and do those x-rays. And that way you can see A, yeah, are they pregnant or not? And B, how many puppies there are. The reason that this is coming up is blueberry. And blueberry, we think that blueberry might have done the deed about three weeks ago. It's okay. We're not judging you. There's no shame here. And we just want to make sure whether or not she's gotten pregnant. And so had and have other people learn about this process and how we go about figuring that out. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.